Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today's video is all going to be about the 10 things you should declutter in your bedroom. So if you guys like this video, make sure to throw a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe if you are new here and let's get straight on to the video. Number one is bureaus, nightstands, and desks. The one you have no use for. Obviously, I have a desk, I use it. But um, I did have a nightstand on the side of the, um, near that plant and it was I had no use for it it was actually becoming empty and it was just sitting there so the only thing that I would do was rest my phone on it at night and I felt like that was kind of not the purpose to have a nightstand so I ended up decluttering that out of my bedroom and I feel like if you are not using any kind of furniture piece in your bedroom you should definitely declutter it because you are depreciating space and you're actually wasting money because I feel like someone else can get better use out of it. Number two is posters, books, and anything with labels on them. Now my bedroom is completely label free. Most of my house is label free. I feel like labels, our mind goes a little crazy especially I feel like the bedroom itself should be something where you come to and relax and you don't stress about how bad your day was you just come down to lay down and you know tomorrow is a new day so any posters in your room or anything that causes your mind to think or causes you to feel a little bit anxiety and stuff like that then definitely declutter them I remember when I lived with my mom and I feel like I had way too many posters I had Nirvana posters up so many different posts like posters and I ended up getting rid of all those and I ended up just putting one Buddha um, painting which is the one that I have actually till this day and up putting it above my little desk and that was the only artwork that I had um, I'm not telling you guys to throw away the ones that you like but definitely get rid of the ones that you're not into anymore but you haven't had the chance to take them down maybe right now is the best time to take them down and pass them on to someone else that could get better use out of them number three is computer chairs or any kind of bulky chairs and that goes for you know whether they're next to your desk whether they're tucked away on the side of the room in the corner just get rid of those because you're also depreciating space and it's best to actually just try to have a stool it actually works out because when I'm done doing my makeup or writing my bills out with that desk I actually take my stool and put it under the desk so it doesn't appreciate any space it actually gives me more walk room than when I had a computer chair at my mom's house it would take up so much space and my bedroom was 10 times smaller than the one that I have right now so you can just imagine how much space you can save once when you get rid of your chairs and also if you're not a fan of um, getting rid of your chair because you don't like stools and stuff then think of like fold up chairs that can easily get tucked under the bed or go in the closet you know maybe to help you gain your space back number four is old socks underwear bras any kind of undergarments just toss them away either if they're broken or they're not wearable then get rid of them you definitely will save a lot of space again and you'll also realize on what you need to get in order to um, restock your sock drawer, your underwear drawer. I normally only keep five pairs of socks because we don't need tons and tons of pairs of socks unless you are you know, an athlete and you, you're constantly using that every day. It's best to just have a certain amount because you're gonna do laundry anyway. So say you have 20 pairs of socks, but you do laundry every Friday. So you're constantly just re-wearing those five to six pairs and those other pairs are going to waste because they're just sitting there because it's not like you do laundry once every three months. I'm pretty sure everyone does laundry every week or something so it's best to get rid of the ones that do not fit you, that aren't um, that aren't your style anymore, and the ones that are ripped and broken. Number five is old packaging boxes. Whether it's a shoe box, an iPhone box, um, a laptop box, anything like that that you have tucked away in your closet or you have tucked under your bed because you were unsure if the product was gonna fit you or if it was gonna work. So you kept the box just in case well a year or two has passed away and you still have that box definitely time to toss them into the recycle bin so they do not take up space number six is jewelry jewelry that you do not wear jewelry that is broken and jewelry that is rusted so I used to be a jewelry fanatic and I used to have um, I want to say about 100 pairs of earrings stud earrings hoops you name it I had it and I actually didn't wear any of those and they all got like 
rusted and they all were green looking because obviously they were fake I don't have money to get real earrings um, like that but I ended up throwing half of those away and giving half away to a friend and it was such a big waste of money and I promised myself I will never buy fake jewelry ever again because I feel like with me fake jewelry goes to waste and it also took up a lot of space in um, one of my drawers back in the day I didn't have I had this drawer but I also had a drawer beside it at my mom's in the top part it was like those college bins the top part was filled with um, jewelry and accessories so once when I dumped that whole thing away I ended up getting rid of that whole little station and it saved me again a lot of space so if you are not into the jewelry that you have and it's still in good condition definitely pass it on to a friend but try your best to declutter jewelry from your bedroom. Number seven is shoes. Whether you keep your shoes in the bedroom or somewhere else, you definitely just want to go through them, declutter them as much as you can because I feel like in America is more like we collect shoes, like we collect purses. And it's definitely an issue. Uh, I know there's a tons of people at my job that have more than 50 pairs of shoes, which is crazy. I only own nine or eight, yeah, eight pairs of shoes and most of them are just flip-flops, one pair of flip-flops, um, sneakers, two pairs of sneakers, and boots, snow boots, and stuff like that. So basically my main essentials definitely could help yourself when you go through your shoes and realize, all right, I don't wear yellow anymore, so I really don't need these yellow heels. They're too bright for my personality, so I'm gonna pass them down. Um, especially with shoes that are worn out. If they're worn out and the sole is completely gone, then definitely toss them to the trash. No one is gonna get use out of them, so forget them and um, maybe write down that you need a new pair of sneakers. Instead of getting five pairs, just stick to that one pair of sneakers. It's gonna work great and also, again, saves you space and saves your bedroom from not getting cluttered. Number eight is really, really huge, especially in my category, and that is store hangers and bad hangers. So you got store hangers that are the ones from Target that have like the little clippy things on the side. And also, I wanna say, the ones that are like small and then really small and then medium and it just looks so bad in your bedroom closet where nothing fits right and your clothes are sliding off. Um, store hangers are super tacky and I absolutely hate them and I, I decluttered those right away once when I got into this like aesthetically pleasing vibe. Um, another thing that is great to declutter is the wire hangers along with store hangers. Wire hangers are so, so, very thin and all of my garments were falling off of them. Um, I stared away from wire hangers. I honestly haven't seen a wire hanger in so long, um, but definitely maybe switch over to a solid color. Either you like um, black, white, yellow, whatever color you prefer as a hanger, then stick with just that one hanger. And I prefer velvet hangers because they're non-slip and you can also put your jeans um, folded onto them like I do and everything stays like in perfect size. So everything has like, everything's like in the same like order I guess. Um, but yeah, definitely try to declutter your hangers in your bedroom. Number nine is clothing that no longer fits you. Either it fits you or, or it's just not your style anymore. Best thing to do is to declutter those from your bedroom so you could start fresh with it, maybe getting a capsule wardrobe or just start fresh in general and if you have 10 sweaters in 10 different colors and you only wear two of those sweaters then definitely get rid of the eight sweaters that you do not wear because you are depreciating your space and I feel like it's kind of unhealthy for all of us to have so many clothes and we only go for the same exact little pieces that we like and the rest just goes to waste when someone else in the world can get better use out of it. And number 10 is the final one and that is things that are under your bed. Now under my bed is completely empty. I used to keep so many things under my bed whether it was shoes, whether it was CDs, uh, you name it I had it under my bed and I feel like when we put things under our bed it's kind of a tucked away where it's like I'll deal with it later kind of situation but we never get to that. This might take a day or two to actually go through everything that's under your bed. Me personally, I like an empty under the bed and it just works out great for me. So you could just easily sweep under there or vacuum and call it a day. And then you know in your mind that there's no clutter under there. So it's kind of like <sighs> one less thing to worry about and one less thing to like 
basically go through when you're decluttering. So try your best to get rid of majority of the stuff that's under your bed. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you got something out of it. If you are decluttering your bedroom because spring is coming, so it's kind of like spring cleaning, and let me know what you're getting rid of, whether it's old clothes, whether it's your whole bedding and you know you want to start fresh. Um, just let me know. I would like to know what you guys are getting rid of. As for me right now, I am kind of happy with my setup. So it's definitely a lot easier once when you declutter your room once and you have this nice free clean space so you do not have to declutter ever again so if you stick with it. But I'm gonna leave you guys on that note and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.